I want to give you Rosen's New Media Maxims. These are maxims that I use to understand what's going on in new media and that I will share with you since they, they help me get a handle on how the world is changing, which it is very radically today. The most famous words ever written about freedom of the press are in the United States Constitution. Congress shall make no law abridging freedom of the press. The second most famous words ever written about freedom of the press come from the pen of the New Yorker's great press critic, A.J. Liebling, who wrote, freedom of the press belongs to those who own one. Right? So today, freedom of the press still belongs to those who own one. But new media means anyone can own one. And that is a big change. To me, it's a very good change, but it also means a lot of chaos and reorganization. So that's number one of Rosen's new media maxims. Secondly, open systems don't work like closed systems. Open systems don't work like closed systems. What I mean by an open system is, it's very simple, anyone can sign up. Twitter is an open system. Anyone can sign up. You don't even need, as I said, my permission. Right? Getting into the World Bank offices at 1818 8th Street is not an open system. <laughs> right? Anyone can't just walk in. But WordPress.com, anyone can walk in. And you can have a blog in 10 minutes. So an open system simply means that. Anyone can sign up. And we should not expect open systems to behave like closed systems, where there's a gate, where there's a guard, where there's a qualification, where there's a control. And if you take practices, attitudes, and assumptions from a closed system and you transplant them into an open one, you should expect them to fail and produce nothing but pain and misery. People do it all the time because they don't listen to Rosen's maxims. <laughs> but I'm telling you that if you take assumptions, practices, ideas, uh, attitudes from a closed system and you just dump them into an open one, pain and misery will result. Because open systems don't work like closed systems. They can work together. They are not enemies. They are not necessarily each other's destroyer, but they are different. Third maxim. Today, and this comes from my friend Dave Weiner, who is the co-founder of blogging, podcasting, and RSS, among other things he's done. Today, the sources can go direct. The sources can go direct. What this means is all the people who have traditionally been sources for journalists who appeared in the newspaper because they were important or expert or authoritative or on the scene, those people now can be publishers themselves, obviously by getting a blog, and many of them do. Experts don't need to reach the public through the press. They can reach the public directly. That's what a blog is. The blog simply means you can set up your page on the network, and that page is within reach of every user of the network. That's the amazing thing about the web. That's what we have to preserve. That's what the telephone companies want to take away. Right? Lots of people don't like the fact that anyone can reach the public because they used to be the ones who could reach the public exclusively. Right? So sources now can go direct, which changes the relationship between sources, journalists, and publics. 
That's my third maxim. My fourth maxim is audience atomization has been overcome. Audience atomization has been overcome. And this is what I mean. In the age of mass media, we got accustomed to a certain arrangement of people in space. And the arrangement that we grew accustomed to is one transmitter, many receivers. Control at the center, consumption at the edges. People at home or in their separate stations, whether it's their cars, their offices, their houses, receiving information and connected up to the press, to big institutions, to power, to king, to the president, connected up but not connected across to one another. That is the normal condition that the audience, or if you will, or the, the receiving public is in under conditions of mass media. But today, with the internet, with blogging, with social media, people are connected across to one another as effectively as they are connected up to big institutions. A simple example of this is, incredibly banal example, is tweeting during the Academy Awards. Right, where people are watching television, they're watching one of the most important ceremonies of Hollywood, the ultimate in big media, but they're also talking to each other across in social networks at the same time. So the ability of the people once reached by big media to connect to each other is one of the things that's really changing our world. And the falling costs for people with the same interest or stake to find each other and create a home for their common interests online is another factor that's really changing our world very rapidly. So if you assimilate these maxims, freedom of the press belongs to those who own one and now because of new media anyone can own one. Open systems don't work like closed systems. If you expect them to, you'll get nothing but misery and failure. The sources can now go direct, and they will, and they do. And audience atomization has been overcome. If you assimilate these and work them into your thinking, you will be smarter. <laughs> smarter. I don't work in international development. I'm not a consultant. I don't have anything to sell you. I don't have a contract with the World Bank. I don't have an investment in what happens after here. I'm just telling you the way it is, so believe it. <laughs> Thank you very much.